I'm Leslie with CZ Grain. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm just gonna give a quick little tutorial, give you some pointers and advice on planting your ryegrass. I'm doing my demonstration in the spring. As you can see, there's tulips. Your best time to plant your cover crop is gonna be in the fall after you have harvested the fruits of your labor. It's all tilled up and ready for your winter. You sow your rice seed in here and it has a lot of benefits such as adding nutrients to your soil for your next garden planting in the spring. It also will help prevent any sort of soil erosion as it's a nice, thick, hardy grass. The perfect weather is gonna be anywhere from 60 degrees to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you don't want to plant too close to the heat of the summer. You can plant in the spring, but if it gets too hot, a lot of times it will stunt and fry, fry up your roots before they get a chance to grow. Um, however, ryegrass is very hardy. It can grow in mo most soils. Sometimes where you can't get grass to grow, ryegrass will do a great job, very vigorous. And I'm just gonna kind of show you a quick demo on how to plant your ryegrass. So what do you call this thing? A seed spreader? I found the easiest way to plant your ryegrass is with a nice little seed spreader like this. It's easier than doing it by hand. I think it disperses the seed out more evenly for you. And when we do plant our ryegrass, you're gonna wanna divide it in half and do your first half going one way throughout your whole area and then turn and go perpendicular with the other half to ensure a more even spread. So I'm just gonna load this up with half of my seed. As you can see, I have some of our various uh, weights and quantities that we sell. We do sell bigger. In this little area, I'm just gonna do my five pounds. I'll put about half of it in. They're all nice resealable pouches. Okay. You're gonna wanna go ahead and till your garden up or the space that you're going to spread your seed. It gives the soil some good oxygen and also prevents some of the clumps to help your ryegrass germinate. So I'm just gonna start sowing it all. It's a little bit windy today. I'm gonna try to get a little bit lower and I'll just go all this way to start. And then after I've gotten all of my, half of my first, I'm gonna go back and then I'll come from the other direction, turn perpendicular and spread it this way now. And that will ensure a much more even spread. Now we do sell two types of ryegrass. There's annual and perennial. Your annual is gonna be more rigorous and not quite as a plush cover. So you'll wanna spread a little bit more if it's annual, which is what I'm using right now. If you use a perennial, it's more of a plush grass look, and that doesn't need to be spread quite as thickly. So once you're done spreading all your seed, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and rake it in. And all that is is just a nice light cover. You don't wanna to go too deep with it. Just slowly work the soil on top of it. And I would go through and do this everywhere where I sowed my seed. And then you're gonna to wanna to come back and hit it with some water. So I have my water here, hopefully it's all ready to go. And then we just come over here and give it a good, good, good watering. And unless you're a really, really dry temps, you shouldn't have to water it every day. You can, it'll sprout faster for you. But just give it a nice watering, help those roots get established. You are also able to plant ryegrass into uh, an established yard or lawn. You're just gonna wanna go through and mow as low as you can. Sow your seed, just like I did in my tilled up yard, and go ahead and try to run a rake over it to work the seeds in, give it a good watering, and it will fill in those spots in your yard that maybe are patchy. Thanks again for joining me and CZ Grain as we planted our ryegrass cover crop. You can find us anywhere on the internet. You can Google us. You can find us on Amazon, Etsy, eBay, GiveTreesFast.com for all of your planting and gardening needs.